الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العظيم قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما أنا لكم بمنزلة الوالد لولدي وعلمكم أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم صلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم Special salutations on our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and praises, all praises go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator. He has given us the constitution to lead our lives peacefully. He revealed the Quran upon Hazrat Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we pronounce or utter the name of Prophet Muhammad, what should we say? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam means may peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the universe. He created mankind. He created genies and many other creations. He sent down the Quran as our constitution. He sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He chose Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the last and the final prophet. Final prophet. We know as we Muslims, as we Muslims, do we really know what the meaning, the meaning of the, the true essence and the true sense, the true meaning of Muslims? Muslim is someone, is one who surrenders himself to the wills of Allah, to the wills of Allah. Islam means surrender and total submission. Islam means surrender and total submission to Allah. Islam. And peace, salam means peace. Salam means peace. peace. Am I clear? We greet others with salam. With salam. This is our greeting system. It means I wish you peace and tranquility. Peace and tranquility. You are safe. You are safe. Salam means I pray for you so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow his mercy upon you. I pray for you. Salam. Assalamu alaikum. That's why we start our speech usually with salam. Saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's my pleasure that I've been here for the second time. Yesterday, maybe immediately after uh, Maghrib prayer, we got together and had some words. And I enjoyed it, really. Because after entering India, I didn't get such a wonderful environment. Here in Karim Ganj, the name of the district is Karim Ganj, Karim Ganj. And this uh, maybe Thana police station, police station's name is Badarpur, Badarpur. I felt myself really lonely when I entered India. 
coming from Bangladesh Silet directly through uh, Dauki border. I reached Dauki uh, through Dauki Shillong. Then I came to uh, Guwahati. Guwahati. I found many faces. I met many people, but unlike you, so beautiful faces with mashallah uh, caps, Islamic apparel, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have special mercy upon you. Amen. Now I think that I am uh, in my family with my family members, with my family members. There are some persons who are, mashallah, very much friendly. And I came to know that the purpose of setting up such a wonderful institution here. We are Muslims. Why did I start my speech by saying that uh, the true meaning of Islam? We are Muslims. Wherever we go, we should maintain some special Islamic rules and regulations. As a Muslim, as a Muslim, I have to lead my life being a true follower of follower of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala said in the Quran, "Iqra bismi Rabbika ladi khalaq khalaq." Was the beginning of the Quran, the revelation, the first ayah, Quranic verse is "Iqra bismi Rabbika ladi khalaq." Of Prophet, "Iqra read." Have you heard the name of Michael H. Hurt? You have you heard the name of Michael H. Hurt? A big writer, a non-Muslim writer. He wrote a very big book. He compiled there the biographies of 100 in most influential personalities of the world. On the top, he put the name of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. He said that when the revelation started, when the Prophet وسلم, was in Mecca, those days were called the days of darkness, the days of ignorance, the days of ignorance. Only 17 people were, one, seven, only 17 people were literate, educated, little bit educated. They were able to write their names and some other things, we were able to write and read. Only 17 people were in Mecca. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was unlettered. Was unlettered. He was Ummi. Ummi means unlettered person. He couldn't read or write. But Allah taught him. Allah taught him. Being an unlettered person, he spread the message of Islam the peacefulness of Islam, the true message of the Quran. And the very beginning, beginning of his message was, say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, there is no one, there is none worthy of worship but Allah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. The very beginning of Holy revelation was Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq Iqra means read, start Michael H. Hart wrote that within a very short span of time short period of time Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam created a revelation created a revolution there many people converted many people embraced Islam <coughs> They were impressed by him. He was soft-hearted, soft-minded. His speech, his speech was very soft. He could easily woo in the hearts of people. Understand? Allah said in the Quran, ila sabili rabbika bil wal hasana." In word towards the path of Allah, bil hikmah, with hikmah. Hikmah means 
such a meticulous way, wonderful, tactfully, artfully, and tactfully by winning the hearts of others. By winning the hearts of others, this is the prophetic conduct and prophetic treatment. When we speak, we shouldn't offend others' hearts. We shouldn't hurt others' feelings. Am I clear? Maybe you are not enjoying my speech now. <clears throat> Last evening, they were, mashallah, very much joyous and in jubilant mood. Last, uh, mo uh, last evening, yes? Should I tell you a story? People are fond of, students are fond of studies. Fond of studies. Have you heard the name of Nasir Ghazi? No. Birbal? Name of Birbal? Yes. Isop? Name of Isop? Gupalwar? <laughs> Nasiruddin Hujja? Yes. Nasiruddin Hujja. Okay, I'll try to tell you a story. But there are many studies in the Quran, mentioned in the Quran. In the Quran, Allah said, Faqsusil qasas al-allahum yatafakkarun. Tell them the stories so that they can ponder over. Ponder over. Wa kullan naqussu alayka min anba'il ghaybi ma nuthabitu bihi fu'adak. I have told you many studies. Allah said to the Prophet, I have told you many studies. Wa kullan naqussu alayka min anba'il ghaybi. About the unseen that will come. وَكُلَّنْ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ مَا نُتَبِّتُ بِهِ فُعَادَكَ So that your heart becomes firm and steady. That's why Allah told his prophet many stories in the Quran. If we read the Quran, we will find a lot of stories. A lot of stories. Have you heard the name of Eve? Who, who was Eve? Hawa alayhi salam. Hawa alayhi salam. In biblical term, Hawa is called Eve. Hawa is called Eve. From there, Eve teasing. From there, Eve teasing. Hawa alayhi salam. Hawa was the wife of Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. Adam is called Adam. Adam is called Adam. But we Muslim, we should say Adam alayhi salam. They say Moses, we should say Musa alayhi salam. They say uh, Jesus Christ, we should say Isa alayhi salam. They say David. We should say Dawood alayhi salam. They say Solomon. We should say Suleiman alayhi salam. They say Isaac. We should say Ishaq. Isaac Newton. Ishaq Newton. <laughs> Isaac Newton. Ishaq Newton. Ishaq. <coughs> they say Jonah. We should say Yunus alayhi salam. Yunus alayhi salam. They say Jacob. We should say Yaqub. Yaqub alayhi salam. They say Joseph. We should say Yusuf alayhi salam. They say mosque. We should say masjid. Mosque. We should say masjid. <coughs> Mashallah. <coughs> I have seen uh, in many places the name of masjid. Masjid of, uh, for example, Markaz Masjid. Markaz Masjid, not Markaz Mosque. Mashallah in India. But in Bangladesh, mosque. But in some other countries, mosque, mosque. Mosque means a place which is replete with mosquitoes. <laughs> Clear? A place with, which is full of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. You know mosquitoes? Do you love mosquitoes? You have friendship with them? Do you sometimes call, call them, please come here and enter, enter our rooms and bite us? Don't you have friendship with them? Can't you deliberately and open-heartedly give them your blood to suck? Mosquitoes? <laughs> no. <laughs> now they are enjoying. Mashallah. We have our own terms. Our own terms. They say Quran. We should say Quran. We should say Quran. They call Muslim, Muslim, uh, Muslims Muhammadan, Muhammadan. We are not Muhammadan. <coughs> Islam isn't Muhammadanism. Our religion is Islam. Our religion is Islam. Our constitution is the Quran. 
Our prophet's name is Muhammad, not Muhammad. Our prophet's name is Muhammad. Am I clear? Adam alayhi, Adam alayhi salam's name is Adam. Adam, not Adam. Not Adam. Hawa is not Eve. She is Hawa alayhi salam. From that Eve teasing. Eve teasing. Terminological differences here. Am I clear? Shaitan is called Lucifer in Bible. In the Bible, Satan is called Lucifer. But in the Quran, Shaitan. Shaitan means who crosses the limit, who crosses the very often, very often crosses the limit, limits of Allah. He is Satan. And Iblis is someone who is deprived of the mercy of Allah. Deprived of the mercy of Allah is Iblis. Understand? We should always follow our own terms, like Masjid, Madrasa. Madrasa can at best can be called Islamic school. Islamic schools, religious school, not Islamic school, religious school. <coughs> there are many religions on earth. Understand? This school is, mashallah, a wonderful one. Wonderful one. The incentive which inspired the founders inspired me as well really i came to know that with some pure intentions they set up this institution this wonderful institution alhamdulillah the results are also wonderful the people here are also very good mashallah <coughs> as a muslim i have some duties number one i should thank you very much i should know my root what should be our ultimate target as i said or mentioned by the way i mentioned yesterday what should be our ultimate target the pleasure of allah the pleasure of allah my aim in life as a profession can be i want to be a doctor an engineer a professor a dentist a high profile person or certified teacher or a qualified person a having a sophisticated mentality and uh, to contribute to the country <coughs> build up the country maybe these are professions but our goal our final goal or ultimate target should be the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you can be a, an engineer but you can't forget your religion you can't uh, avoid or shine the prophets norms and traditions understand so you can be an engineer but you should be a muslim you should remain a muslim remains a muslim may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us and grant us the will to follow the prophets footstep footstep so the very beginning of our religion is iqra read iqra means read read Michael H. Hart wrote that I have gone through many religious scriptures. What is scripture? A religious book is called scripture. Scripture. He said, I have gone through many religious scriptures, many scriptures, but no religious book started with Iqra. Read or study, but only Islam, only the book of Islam, only the book of the Muslims, their religious book. Quran, Iqra, read, read. It means you should enlighten yourself, enlighten yourself, be educated, be modified, be morally taught. Understand, Iqra, Bismillah, Rabbika, Ladi Khalaq, Iqra, read. Bismi Rabbika Ladi Khalaq with the name of the one who created. Khalaq al insana min alaq who created mankind out of cloth. Iqra wa Rabbika al akram and read. Iqra read wa Rabbika al akram and know that you should know that your Lord is the most merciful. Most merciful. Alladhi allama bil qalam who taught you with the pen with the pen that is a quranic surah its name is also pen 
सूरतुल कलम सूरतुल कलम मे बी यू ऑल नो रिसेटिंग द कुरान यस वट वॉज द प्रोफेट ड्यूटी हाउ मेनी ड्यूटीज द प्रोफेट सल्लाम है Follow his footsteps. Follow his footstep. Understand? What prophet is following the prophetic tradition? Following the prophetic tradition. In short term, to follow his sunnah. To follow his sunnah. Number one, to decide the Quran. Number two, to teach the Quran. Number three, to follow his sunnah. Follow his sunnah. Number four, to purify our heart. Understand? Mashallah. Yesterday, they put such things into their memory. Now, Mashallah, Mashallah. They could out of their memory say, Mashallah. May Allah give barakah in your hearts, in your mind, in your souls. Amen. Amen. We can be engineers. We can be scientists. We can be philosophers. We can be presidents. We can be MPs, member of parliaments. In Bangladesh, it is called MP, but here may be MLA, member of parliaments. You can be high profile someone, somebody, understand, but you should remain a Muslim, remain a Muslim, never forsake your religious mode, your religious rituals. Now, we are nominal Muslims, we shouldn't be nominal Muslim, we should be true Muslims. In order to remain true Muslim, we should follow the Prophet's footsteps, Prophet's instructions. Understand? Wherever we go, we should decide the Quran. Decide the Quran. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In every single action, in every day action, if we can remember this very notion that we can nurture this very notion that whatever I do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala observes, Allah sees, He is the omni, omniscient, He is the omniscient, Allah is omnipotent, who is omnipotent? Allah is omnipotent, He sees every single thing, whatever we do in our everyday life, everything is seen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every single thing is observed by whom? By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if someone has such feeling, he never he never commits crime and you see understand so this feeling the feeling of taqwa this feeling is called the feeling of taqwa keep in mind that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything i am his banda what's banda in english slave slave any other word servant the servant of, I am the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has set up some boundaries. I can't cross the boundaries of Allah. Understand? So, this feeling, this feeling will lead me, will lead me towards the path of Jannah, inshallah. This feeling is called taqwa. What? Taqwa. That whatever I do, it's seen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's observed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This feeling is called the feeling of taqwa. The feeling of taqwa. <coughs> May Allah grant us taqwa. Say Amin. Amin. We should, inshallah, recite the Quran. We should abide by our teacher's instructions. Inshallah. Inshallah. About fathers and mothers, about your parents. Do you know Muslim manners? Muslim manners. Muslim manners also part of prophets' tradition. Parts of prophets' tradition. A hadith. You know hadith. The prophetic saying. Prophetic saying is called hadith. I have mentioned at the beginning of my speech. Inna ma'ana lakum bi manzilatil walid. 
the prophet sallallahu said i am like your father like your father the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent as a teacher people asked him what's your profession he said i am a teacher i am a teacher so those who are teachers mashallah mashallah they have got wonderful profession wonderful profession very holy profession sacred profession muallim inna ma ana lakum prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said brist inna ma brist mualliman i have been sent as a teacher as a teacher who wants to be teachers you can you raise your hands to be teachers i want to be a teacher i myself you know wherever you go you can be a teacher <laughs> being a scientist doesn't necessarily mean that you are not going to be a teacher when you will teach others you will be a teacher being an engineer when you will be an engineer you will have some other students so you will be a teacher understand teachers are of four kinds teachers are of four kinds maybe saint joseph said number one he only tells number one he only tells number two he explains number two he explains number three he demonstrates he demonstrates number four he inspires number four he inspires teachers are of how many kinds four kinds number one he only tells he only tells number two he explains number three he demonstrates number four he inspires who is the best teacher can you say the last one the last one understand maybe there are many motivational speakers here in india have you heard the name of shivkara a famous person he said winners don't do different things they do things differently this is his famous uh, speech uh, statement shivkara have you heard the name of abul kalam azad yeah. mashallah what was he maybe he was the first education secretary minister education minister of the mashallah of the independent india have you heard the name of hussain ahmad madani who was he he had lot of contributions to free this country yes Have you heard the name of Shah Anwar Kashmiri? Yes, Shah Anwar Kashmiri. Kasim Nanotubi. Are there names mentioned in your uh, books? Maybe in Indian books? In social studies? Geographical studies? In the Maulana? Only Madrasa's book. but we know we know the beginning of our religion etra but etra read we must read inshallah read what should we read read the quran what should we read read the quran what should we read read the prophet's biography prophet prophet's biography understand number two number three what should we read we should read the history of islam the history of islam and studies of great people of islam the studies of great people of islam we should read what should we read number one the quran the quran number two the prophet's biography and prophet's tradition prophet's tradition number three the, the history of islam history of islam number four the biographies what the stories of great people of islam studies of studies and biographies of great people of islam inshallah so this is read this is read iqra iqra understand an arabic lyric iqra 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 awwalu kalima iqra 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 awwalu hikmah iqra awwalu hikmah we should read inshallah 
What's the meaning of Al Islam? What? Correction. Another word? Edification. What? Edification. Not only education. Edification. Moral correction and purification. Correction, rectification, purification. Purification. In Islamic term, Islah al Islah means purification of hearts. Purification of hearts. There is a book written by Omar Hamza, maybe. The purification of hearts. The purification of hearts. Name of a book. Name of a book. So we should read first, we should read the Quran. Then we should read Prophet's biography and his tradition. Number three. History of Islam. Number four. Then we should, which all these things should be studied under the auspice of teachers, under the supervision of the teachers. Inshallah. Mashallah, here I have never found such an environment in Bangladesh. Understand? All the students follow their teachers instructions mashallah they perform their prayers <coughs> timely and uh, can read the quran so correctly and wonderfully i was amazed yesterday when i heard a student's recitation mashallah very wonderful very wonderful it can't be imagined here in bangladesh in a school understand so this is your the results and outcome of your labor May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it an wasila, a means for our salvation, for our salvation in the hereafter. So it's all for today. I am really very much honored. I feel myself honored and also very much happy and glad to have such an, a wonderful environment here. And I pray especially for you so that you can be very big personalities, big scholars, big preachers of Islam, preachers of Islam, big propagators of Islam. You should, uh, by the way, I should mention the name of a book written by D.W. Arnold, The Preaching of Islam. The Preaching of Islam. He mentioned there that the spreading of Islam is so swift and so speedy that uh, maybe it's going it's going to be sp uh, very soon to be sp spread all over the world. Alhamdulillah, it's going on by dint of Tablir uh, Jamaat. Tablir Jamaat. If we get time after exams, the holidays, we should spend a few times with Tablir Jamaat. Inshallah. Inshallah. What's the markaz here? The central place here in India? Tablir Jamaat? Dilli. You, you say Dilhi or Dilli? Dilli. Shah Waliullah Mahadi said Dahlavi. Dilli, Dahlavi. Okay. So, inshallah, we should read the Quran, read the Prophet's biography, read the history of Islam, read the studies written by great people or about the great people of Islam. Inshallah. And we should abide by our teachers, by our guardians and uh, pray regularly pray regularly and spend a few days with tablighi jamaat if possible inshallah make special dua for me i'm a visitor here and when i'll be back to bangladesh i will make special dua for you and as long as i am here i will make dua for you inshallah and it's for one for today i am really very much happy and honored <clears throat> to be part of this, I feel myself that I am also part of this institution, this wonderful institution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant it as, as, uh, and all the, all concerned here, the pioneers in this regard, in establishing wonderful education, wonderful educational institutions here, all over the world, not only in India. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it as a model all over the world. I mean, it's one for today. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.